Okay, so I've spent some time trying to optimize my game. I did a test about a week ago where I put lots of enemies on the map and went into battle with them. And my frame rates were ridiculous, as you can see. So I decided I needed to optimize, even though I didn't really know much about how to do it. I set a goal for this exercise. I wanted the game to not drop below 60 frames with 10 active opponents attacking me simultaneously and me defending myself. Uh, I thought 10 was the right benchmark because by design I'm not expecting to ever have to fight more at once because that would not be uh, survivable. So with some reading and common sense, I did the following things. First, I wrote a simple script that reduces the enemy bullet interval based on the number of enemy units in proximity. So basically, when you approach an enemy and they become engaged, they add themselves to an array, and the size of that array determines the interval. This also makes sense from the battle design point of view because the fewer the bullets, the greater the odds of surviving the fight, and the fight is no less entertaining. The second thing I did, which significantly improved the frame rate, was I replaced the rigid body bullets with tweened bullets. Enemies would just shoot rigid body bullets before, which was easier to do, but it was a strain on Godot physics, which, as we all know, is not too performant. So that helped a lot, but I think the biggest improvement came from the most obvious thing, and that was cleaning up the enemy resource itself, because I had lots of garbage in that scene that was hidden, but it was there. So when I was testing with one or two enemy units, I didn't notice the impact, but when I put 15 of them on the map, it, it added up. So yeah, uh, clean your shit up, man. Anyway, I did some tests, and this was the average result. 113 frames per second on average drops to 60, and this is just during the fight scene, because outside of fight scenes, it's much higher. So first I thought, not bad, but then I remembered I have a 2070 mobile on my laptop, which is a slightly faster GPU than the 1070, which I treat as a benchmark. So can I do a little bit better? Um, can I bring this up by another 10 frames? Let's see, my player and enemy scripts do quite a bit of distance checking, so I replaced all of my distance2 methods with distance2, squared two, which I read was faster because it doesn't have to do the heavy square root math. And also, in some instances, I realized that I didn't really need to know the distance on every frame. For example, uh, the player is checking for distance to the next terrain chunk so that it can be loaded up. But because my terrain chunks are huge, I don't really have to check the distance in process. I can check every couple of seconds. It doesn't make a difference if the next chunk is added uh, with a two second delay because it will be added beyond the camera view distance anyway. So I set a timer instead and that gave me a bit more FPS. The next thing was pathfinding. I got this idea from a developer named Mizziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziz